Good morning, Westfield High School. Today is Monday, May 20th, 2024. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, WHS, and welcome to BDTV. I'm Olivia Berger. And I'm Justin Rickey. The Project Glimmer Club will be having a bake sale after school today in the front entrance. All proceeds will be going to the girls in foster care system. The Community Service Club is collecting lunches on Thursday for the Salvation Army. Lunches should include a sandwich, fruit, snack, and beverage that can be dropped off at the main entrance. Do you know what May 31st is? It's a day that all library books are due back to the library. So do the right thing and bring your books back right away. Need a stress buster for finals? Swing by the 3D Printing Club at 1.40 after school on Wednesday to learn how to make custom fidget toys. Attention all seniors, if you don't need your school-issued Chromebook, you can turn it in early by coming to the technology office inside the library anytime between 7.15 and 3.30 p.m. Please remember to remove all stickers and bring the power cord. If your Chromebook is lost or broken, please check in with the IT department ASAP to resolve it before graduation. It's now time for sports with Sarah Rooney. Good morning, WHS. I'm Sarah Rooney, and here's your BDTV sports update. On Friday, boys volleyball fell short to SPF 2-0 in the county finals. Baseball beat Cranford 7-2, and girls flag football lost 14-13 in Central. On Saturday, baseball lost to SPF 2-1, boys tennis beat Bridgewater 5-0 in the Blue Devil Invitational, but lost to West Windsor 3-2 in the finals. Girls lacrosse lost to Randolph 11-5, and boys lacrosse lost to Don Bosco 16-9 despite a hat trick from Cody Lamb. Today after school, softball hosts 100 and Central, and that's all for today's sports sport. Back to you. Thanks, Sarah. It's SGA Election Week. Casey Iser is here to tell us more. Hi, WHS. It's time to elect your SGA Executive Board for next year. Over the course of this week, you will hear speeches from your peers running for positions. You will also get the chance to vote on the ratification of the SGA Constitution. Using the feedback given to us from students and staff, we drafted a constitution to govern SGA moving forward. However, we need it to be approved by a student body majority vote to go into effect next year. Check your email for a copy of the constitution to read through it before the official vote on Wednesday. Today, you will hear speeches from candidates running for the positions of President, Vice President of Events, and Vice President of Communications. Running unopposed for President is Junior Luke Renshaw, who you will hear from now. Look short, stands tall. I'm Luke Renshaw, and I hope to stand tall as your future president. I'm the former treasurer in SGA, and I want to continue to serve the student body in 2025. As president, I want to lead and organize SGA in all the events within our school. I want to unite our school and create events that promote togetherness and school spirit. I believe that West Hill High School needs more spirit and tradition. I would love to represent the common student once again as your student government president and would be honored to receive your vote. Please vote for me, Luke Renshaw. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks, Luke. Now on to Vice President of Communications. A new role added to the SGA Board, the VP of Communications will serve as student representative to the Board of Education and will handle all communications between SGA and other organizations. You will now hear from Junior James Furr, who is running unopposed for this position. Good morning, WHS. My name is James Furr, and I am running to be next year's SGA Vice President. I'm running because I think it's extremely important for the SGA board to accurately represent the students. As someone who is well involved within the school, I know that I can do this well. I believe that when the school makes major decisions that affect the students, they should receive reasonable student input to help maximize its effectiveness. After all, these additions are made to make the school a better place for us, the students. I also believe that we need to increase school spirit and student involvement. I plan on doing this by rebuilding school events like the pep rally and spring dance to encourage more students to want to attend. As your SGA Vice President, I guarantee that I will be an approachable advocate so that we, the students, are always heard. Make sure to vote for me because James Furrer is always for the students. Thanks. The second Vice President is the Vice President of Events, who will help plan all activity periods and special events with the SGA President and Board. Sophomore Ava Contract is running unopposed for this position. Hi. 
My name is Ava Contract. I'm a sophomore and I've served as a recording secretary for the SGA this past year. I'm running again, this time for vice president of events. We need to make our SGA events fun, and that's what I'm here to do. In order to make them more fun, we need to get your input. We need to include all the students' ideas so the events the SGA puts on are the ones you look forward to being a part of. First, I want to make the pep rally more fun. I want to add more fun events like dizzy bat races and make sure there are great prizes for the students that win the events. Another thing that has the potential to be better, the SGA dances. But we need your input to make them better. SGA events should be something you want to participate in. They should be something that you look forward to going to. And that's what I'm here to do. And remember, vote in favor of Ava. Thanks, Ava. We will continue to hear from candidates throughout the week with voting taking place on Wednesday after all candidates have given speeches. Thank you. Thanks, Casey. If you would like to submit an announcement to be read, please visit the BDTV page on the high school website. Follow us on Instagram at WHSBDTV. Have a great Monday, WHS.